Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo ThinkPad X240 model here. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can repaste the CPU, repaste the CPU, clean up the fan system and the motherboard and the ventilation. This is this procedure to be really easy to do and you should be able to you should do this one every one every year every year and a half depending on the usage that you give if yours is running really hard and you want to just do your service at home you can do this at home it's really easy to do and there's no risk or the risk are very little unless you're really clumsy then i'll recommend you guys not to and i'm going to go over the tools that i'll be using i'm going to be using an ifixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. These are S2 classic steel bit. We're gonna use a Phillips number one. If you wanna get the Pro set, you can get it and they will give you tweezers and opening tools and few other stuff. If not, grab yourself a, a metallic guitar pick and these are really suitable for opening cases and covers. You will need a curved tweezers or straight tweezers and you need an alcohol isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol 95 percent plus that's a must you need a workshop towel one sheet of the workshop towel that's more than enough and obviously you need your good thermal paste you can use whatever thermal paste you wish and then you can use an arctic silver 5 which are really good and they're really kind of greasy they're, i like them but not for these models or you can go with the Arctic MX4, which are really good. And if you want to go overkill, go with the Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut. Uh, those links, those thermal paste are linked in my video description in case you want to. In this case, we're going to use an Arctic MX4. With all this set, now we're going to go ahead and open up the laptop. First thing first, you want to remove the power off, obviously. Remove the battery by pulling it backward, pulling these triggers sideways and pull, sliding it back. Now we're gonna uh, unscrew a few screws down here, whatever you see. The screws, they have a C-lock on them. That means they screw, there's a tiny washer on the other side that will prevent it from coming out entirely. So you just pretty much have to rotate. And as soon as you see, it's like a loosen up, leave it there. That's what you wanna do. Okay, this one has a broken C-lock, so the screw entirely came out on one of them. So nothing happens don't worry about it also if you guys like my videos and you want to support the channel you can do that by clicking that like and subscribe i'll greatly appreciate it it supports and motivates me to make more videos take requests answer your questions in the video comment all right with all this on hand said now we're going to grab the opening tool and we're going to stick it between the bottom and the top palm rest cover and we just want to twist twist do this all around to the side to the back corner and go all the way to the left and right side by the ventilation right there you want to do the same thing once you did that one right there at the back of the laptop by the hinges corner of the hinges same thing back here you want to put it right underneath there's a tiny clip one two three four five between the clips put it and just twist them and you want to hear those pop sound that's what you want to hear there we go there we have it All right now the cover should come out pretty easy now what you want to do down here there's a dust mesh right here for the fan the intake for the air you want to grab a toothbrush i forgot about this tool this is an awesome tool a toothbrush new used toothbrush you want to take it outside and just and clean up the dust mesh from both sides or we'll even wash the whole thing and let it dry up nicely if you want to down here you're going to see the whole motherboard some models do they they do give a extra battery internal battery you can purchase them the connector goes right there if you have an internal battery you can go ahead and pull this cable back from the jack and disconnect your internal battery all right the fan system is right over here and uh, before we go on anything we're going to untangle this uh, power jack around the fan just untangle it we're going to remove the four screws for the heatsink the screws they do have a c-lock again on them so pretty much just loose them up 
Now you're gonna grab a curve tweezer or a straight tweezer and we're gonna unlock this hook for a fan cable. So the way that you unlock it, you pull this trigger upward 90 degree, it comes up 90 degree, and then you slide back the flex cable. And next thing is just grab the heat sink, bring it up, and put it upside down. And as you guys can see on the second die right here, there is no thermal paste or anything. They even cut the copper sheet so the copper does not touch the secondary die. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to clean up the thermal paste in here. So we're going to soak up the alcohol in a towel. And we're going to wipe the thermal paste off the heat sink. Nicely. And we're going to wipe the thermal paste from the CPU and use the dry part to wipe it really nice. Don't worry about the thermal paste around the CPU. As long as the die is clean, you're fine. Now we're gonna take uh, again the fan outside and we're gonna clean it with a toothbrush. Just wipe, wipe it and clean it up and I'll be back. All right, now that we clean up the heat thing, we're gonna grab our thermal paste and we are gonna put a tiny line on the die and for this one put a 0.2 millimeter thermal pad but actually i don't have one and if you don't put it it's still gonna work fine that's no problem so pretty much this is the main die you want to focus on nothing's gonna happen so what do you want to do you want to put the heat sink straight on top align it and you want to hold it down and you want to cross the screw, the screws right on top. Go to one, two, and three, four. Always make sure you cross the screw them. Do not go around clockwise or anti counterclockwise. Always go cross the screw them. Once you done with that one, all you need to do is grab the cable and run the cable along the side of the fan right there. There's a tiny tape here, this tape, so I'm probably going to get loose. You can put a gaffer's tape here to keep it in place. Always make sure all the cables are nicely toggled, tucked in. Once you, once you finish down here, all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover, bring it over, align it, push it down, and tighten up the screws at the back first. This is important. Once you tighten up the screws at the back, uh, what I recommend you guys to do to put the battery, slide the battery down in there first. Once the battery is down in there, now I can go pinch these two together, top and the bottom. You know, but if you guys want to be really paranoid, don't pinch too hard here because of the screen. So what I do, I, you see this opening right there, I need to pinch that one hard. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up the laptop and then I'm going to hold this side and pretty much pinching both sides together really hard and it just clicks in and that's it just go ahead now we can close it down and tighten up the rest of the screws if again this should be all and the last thing is to tighten up the screws at the bottom power i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out if it did you know what to do click that like and subscribe i appreciate it if you guys have any question or requests feel free to leave them in a video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as i can as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.